Biff. Yes. Just talk to me. Honestly, I'm so happy. This is the first time where like I've come to Old Trafford in a very long time. Because obviously going to Liverpool game, you didn't know what you're getting. Obviously, an amazing game. But I've been so excited. I thought this is like the make or break of what direction we're going in. And to come here and beat Arsenal 3-1, who haven't dropped a point all season up until now, is it is really good. And the performance we're putting as well is you could see one ten high get a really good performance because from the first half, start of the second half wasn't great, but you could see what we were trying to do. We we're trying to break down them lines that Arsenal were leaving open consistently, and we did that with the likes of Bruno and Rashford and Ericsson. Everyone got involved, and the team are together, the fans are together, and it's just I, I genuinely think that is a building block now that this team, that defense. You know what they say, defense wins your titles. I'm not going that far, but the defense looked really, really good. And again, the attack and the midfield were actually getting more involved today, and I thought we looked really, really solid. That's it. Special mention for Marcus. You touched on it there. Yeah. Two goals, assist today. That looked like the old Marcus Rashford there, didn't it, today, Ben? Honestly, can he hold the ball up? No, he can't. But can he run? Yes, he can. And that's against top six sides. He's a player that can really, really do damage, especially when he's got someone like Bruno Fernandes in behind him and Ericsson as well. So when he moved to the left, I thought he was much better. But overall, he did the best of what his abilities are. He's He can't hold the ball up. In games like the Leicester game, where, and the Southampton game where he's going to be consistently having to hold the ball and link up play. That isn't his game. Today, the assist through to Anthony, Marcus Rashford, better than what he would have done previously. It's an improvement. I expect my players to make that pass, but the fact he's doing it when he used to be so poor, it's an improvement. And then the two goals he got, we've seen him fluff them before. They look like easy goals, but we've seen him fluff them. And I thought his runs in behind and, and, and his positional sense was a lot, lot better. And I'm really happy for him because I think this is the first of a few goals for Rashford now. He seems to be getting them in them positions and Bruno's finding him as well, which is really good to see. Bruno, it's like first half, was he annoying me? Yeah, because them silly little back heels giving the ball away, you don't have to do it, just keep possession. But there's no one on that pitch, apart from potentially Ericsson, that are going to put them balls through to Rashford the way he did. And I'm, I'm happy that partnership's like getting going again because it, it used to be very, very good and you can see it happening now, but it's not the only thing we rely on, which is a good thing as well. That's it. You mentioned it there, so solid at the back again. Yeah. Tough game today. Difficult opposition going forward. Jesus called problems with his physicality. Obviously, Zaka down there, right hand side, caused Matt Malasio all sorts of problems. But they stuck to the guns, they stayed together. And it's like you said then, playing as a team, not only at the back, but from midfield and supporting the defence as well. Do not get me wrong, they'd like Arsenal are a good team, they are. And they're, they're, it's never going to be perfect. But Yes, did sometimes we make mistakes? Yes, we did. But you're going to make mistakes that like everyone does. But did we recover from them? And overall, as a team, as a unit at the back, did they do very, very well? Yes. Malasia, did Saka get through a few times? Yes, he did. Did Jesus get the better of Varane a couple of times? Varane got control of him more in the second half. He did. But they stuck to it and, and they were really, really close on and the heads didn't drop. And Malasia in the second half, I thought, he massively improved. Good on the ball. He, he, he anticipates the, the challenge really, really well. And for a young kid coming through, I'm really excited about him as left back. And Dallow as well. Dallow, he's, he's dealing with Martinelli, who's a very, very good winger. I thought he looked good in that United game, but sometimes you see Dallow lose concentration. For, at the moment, he seems to be so focused continuously out the game. And that whole back forward just working together and Varane demanding. Martinez just constantly getting getting into Jesus all game. It's what you want to see. He defends that box like like no one can get in it. Again, he made a few mistakes, but they recovered as a team. And a lot of the times we haven't seen that. I just think that defence taking us forward. I just hope Martinez grinds okay, whatever he pulled. I hope Varane just just continues to, to stay fit because I think we've got a really, really top defence on our hands. And it's starting to progress through the whole team. You see McTominay and the second game in a row, I got pelters for saying he played well against Leicester. I thought he did. Yeah, everyone's saying it's only Leicester. But against Arsenal, I thought, especially in the first half, a very good game. Like, it's hard for Ten Hag to drop him for Casemiro because he's playing really well. The amount of challenges he was putting in. And now he's getting the ball. And yes, he does still have a pass that goes away, but it's not every single pass he makes. He's looking through the lines. He's finding the likes of Ericsson because Ericsson's in a better position than what our other midfielders used to be. I feel like that that midfield three does it do we do we leave holes sometimes because Bruno's getting a little bit too far forward for the press yes does Ericsson sometimes maybe maybe not always covering yes but you've got a midfield three that's starting to work really well together with the likes of Casemiro coming off the bench and, and Fred as well coming off the bench like you've got a bit of depth there as well which is good mm -hmm. so, shout out before you go Beth debutant today very uh, very uh, yellow and green sort of vibe going on in our team today towards the end there but Antony opening goal 
debut performance for him rating? Do you know what? I th- overall, I don't think he was he was like a world beater, but I thought he did well. He trapped back and he was in the right place at the right time. And do you know what? That that goal was only being scored by a left footed forward on, on the right hand side. And that's exactly what he's got. And he took it really well, a great finish. And his celebration as well, that's going to get all the fans on the side. So I'm really happy. I think he's got a, a good future at United and, and I'm happy for the team and just happy we've got three points. It's difficult to pick him out of the matches now we're winning Beth, isn't it? But uh, I said before, it's between about eight players. It is, today. it is, it who is. You, who are you going with? Oh, do you know what? I thought Ericsson did well. I thought, I thought again, Veronica Martinez did well. Dallow did well. It, it's really hard, but do you know what? I'm going to go for I'm going to go for Ericsson. I'm going to go for Ericsson. <laughs> 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 